It was such a cool experience. It really felt like you were able to have a dream come alive and come all, look all around you. Um, I really like to be able to turn around and look at all of the different views. Um, and you really felt like you were moving, like sometimes you have to kind of catch yourself. Um, yeah, it was so neat. It was really, really cool. So you've just done Alula Adventures for the first time. Yes. What did you think? I thought it was so fun. I had the, the best time, the sandstorm, the every time it moved, I was like, oh, I'm flying. <laughs> it was so fun. Fantastic. I would do it again for sure. You would do it again? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was really neat. I totally forgot I was in a little dome and the, the atmosphere of the whole desert was really exciting. It was awesome. It's cool because you can combine learning with like a game experience, but probably the time that got me the most is when it was cruising from up high and through a sandstorm and then it was going in between like two rocks. <laughs> I was just like, should I reach out? What do I need to do? But yeah, it was cool. It's very real because the ground is shaking, the wind is blowing. Everything's vibrating. It's like a fully immersive experience. Cool. So it was definitely immersive. I, don't know, I guess two things: the, the the shooting aspect of it, you know, right. selecting and that kind of thing. But for sure, whenever you take off or come down or you're flying across things, you know you're just standing there, but you don't. Like in that in that thing, it definitely felt like okay. Uh, it was awesome. It it felt it felt a lot like a like playing a video game, but for sure you're inside of it. Right. So I wish all the games that I play, which are many, would be done that way. <laughs> I went on this journey and I and I was going through these old ruins and, and it was just really immersive. I, I could feel the wind from the sandstorm and, and everywhere I looked, even when we'd go under tunnels, I'd kind of peek up to see and, and look through doorways and, and everywhere I looked, there was something to see, there was something to find. I love the airflow because I was flying and I could, you know, feel it. I, I, I couldn't stop looking around, it was, it was amazing. The wind in my face, uh, you know, the technology, being able to, to have, see my hands here and touch things on the screen and, and bring it, bring the desert to life and see the artifacts, it was, it was that, exceptional. Yeah, well, and you feel like you're on your own vacation because there's no other people there. Right. It really feels like you get to be there all by yourself, which I feel like everyone wants when they're on a trip. You want all the tourists to move out of the way. And so to get to kind of see it in all of its beauty was really, really cool. Feeling like I'm flying, feeling like I'm moving, but not moving, right? Yeah. And then you can still balance yourself okay, but you're like flying. No, I get motion sickness pretty easy, uh, but I didn't, did not feel one thing at all. The wind. The wind. I don't know why that stuck out with me, but I, I like put my hand around my head and I, I thought the wind was a very nice touch. But this with the vibrating, and the wind and all that all together, it's a completely different experience. Oh, this was amazing. I really enjoyed it. I, was, I experienced some things I didn't think I was gonna experience and I lost my balance a little bit, but it really, I, I never, I, it was my first time doing this and I, it was, I, I, I'd do it again, it was amazing. <laughs> it was extremely immersive. I, I felt like I was there. I felt like I was flying. I screamed. Yeah! If I weren't standing on them, my socks would be off. I especially like the wind in my face and the shaking. Uh, <laughs> when, when it was right, there's a part where it does a vertical takeoff. And I didn't move my feet at all during that time because it was... I, I almost felt shaky knees. It was, it was very... It was very well oh, done. Wow. When it took off and I kind of like... It felt like a roller coaster. <laughs> yeah, it really... And, and look, I'm not even going anywhere. I wasn't going anywhere, but it really makes your brain think that you are really uh, doing something. It was amazing to see the artifacts in the desert. And so it was really nice. I enjoyed it. A lot of fun. When I went fast forward, I was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> when the hovercraft sort of crashes and it goes down to the ground, it really did feel like the, the whole thing was crashing. <laughs> Uh, I liked I liked the rooftops honestly. Maybe it's because I watched Aladdin growing up as a kid. <laughs> but I loved it said the option, do you wanna go down, do you wanna go up to the rooftop? I wanna go up to the rooftops and see and, and I felt like as I was moving and we were dropping down levels. Uh, that I was there. It, it was exciting. I, I, I need an excuse to go to Saudi Arabia. So you actually want to go to see Ali with now? No, I've got it. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Yes, I want to go to all, a lot of places in there. I, I'm always looking to see, see the real place, but yeah, yeah. But even if I couldn't, 
and uh, more and more in the world there'll be places we can't see. Um, boy, this is the next best thing. It would definitely be really cool. I'd definitely be bring some sunscreen though.